about three markets that doesn't give us much time. So, uh, unfortunately, the next question has a long introduction, but I'll try to read it fast. It's with regard to quality education and funding for education, it's suggested in part by the Institute for Wisconsin's Future, think tank based in, in Milwaukee. Uh, over the last 20 years, state aid to school districts has been a smaller and smaller portion of the total cost of quality of public education. Our children are receiving fewer educational opportunities. Governor Walker has reduced revenues to schools by another $1.6 billion in this two-year budget. The result, more teacher layoffs and program cuts hurting children. The legislature can fix the school funding formula following uh, by taking two actions. First of all, by passing State Superintendent Tony Evers Fair Funding for Our Future plan, and second, by approving the Penny for Kids one cent increase in the sales tax to restore Walker's $1.6 billion in cuts. Now specifically, uh, since we're talking about particular um, solutions here, the Fair Funding for Our Future plan calls for a base state funding of $3,000 for every student in every district, increases state aid if the district has a high number of students living in poverty, helps district with declining enrollments, increases state aid each year by 2% or the rate of inflation in order to provide financial stability, eases the state revenue limits, and places the school levy tax credit monies into school aid. The penny for kids would increase the state sales tax from 5% to 6% on the dollar, producing nearly $900 million per year in revenue that would then be sent to schools as state aid making up for Walker's cuts. We must begin reinvesting in our children's education. It's not a case of we can't solve the problem. So far, it has been a case of we don't want to solve the problem. So, the question, starting with Senator Weinhoff, will you work to implement the fair funding for our future proposal and the one cent increase in sales tax for our kids? Thank you very much. Two weeks ago, I put together a six-point plan on resolving the problems that we face in education. Part of that plan dealt with Tony Evers' Fair Funding for Schools program. When I think about the problems that our state faces, I think that one of the biggest problems is that we need to reprioritize our investments, and number one needs to be our investments in human potential. It's difficult to do school funding reform in two minutes, and I'm going to give it my best shot, but all of the details are posted on KathleenBeinhardt.org. So the two-minute version. First of all, we have to restore the money that's been cut from education. We have to bring back the teachers that have been laid off. We have to restore the courses that have been cut. We have to return to smaller class sizes. And my alternative budget that I put together a year ago lists where I would go to find the dollars to do that. In addition to repairing the damage that was done by Governor Walker, we have to move forward to change the formula. I propose a five-year phase-in, beginning with emergency funding in this coming school year. Those of you who are involved in education know that the coming school year is going to be worse than the current school year for a number of reasons. In, and, in this, and then I follow with two different budgets in which we would phase in most, but not all, of Superintendent Tony Evers Fair Funding for Schools. I would adopt the new formula in next year's budget and then fully phase, phase it in in the following year. I would hold wealthy schools harmless as I brought up the aid to those schools that are now struggling. At the same time, we need to put in place new accountability measures for all schools, including charter and voucher schools. And that means increasing schools' responsibility for graduation rates, reducing the achievement gap, and holding schools responsible for changes in student performance. I attempted to pass these accountability measures in the waning days of the session, but I was thwarted by my Republican colleagues. We also have to, this wasn't part of the question, but we also have to restore the funding for tech colleges, UW, and invest in needs-based financial aid. And we have to recognize that not all, not, not all smart students are rich students. Yes, not all smart students are rich students. And finally, we have to make education an honored profession, an honored profession for the best and the brightest of our college graduates choose that career of education and teaching the next generation. Thank you.